All right, I'm ready to do this. So let's begin with unboxing it. This is pretty exciting. I've been waiting quite a while for this. Actually over a year since I pre-ordered it. So this is the first time I'm seeing anything and this is all of what's in the box. I'll pull that to the side for a brief moment. Looks like they just put another piece of box in here. And that's it, straight from China. So I'll go ahead and set that to the side. This is the Infinite Air 18. So their newest product that's gonna be able to give you power off grid. And it looks like they're advertising it here in the front. One of the things that you can do for it is post a video or post a, uh, a link of some type. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this plastic open. Well packaged. Set that to the side. All right, so this is an 18 volt and five volt is what it said on the box itself. Wind turbine. All right, portable unit. It's gonna be lightweight. Uh, funny enough, they advertised this with the use together of a Goal Zero product, which I just so happen to have, and that's the Goal Zero Sherpa 100 AC. That's this right here. Um, and I think one of the reasons why they, they put this together with it is because of the output of this might not be good for a standard uh, portable battery pack, uh, but I'm hoping that maybe there is something that will be beneficial to it um, Using one of the the standard portable power packs because this is quite expensive This is a $300 unit if you buy it brand new from goal zero but Let's set that to the side and let's continue on with the unboxing so a lot of information on the uh, the outside of the box here uh, so on the front we get a very large picture of the unit in action um, what I'm noticing here is, is the aluminum pictures of the unit. It says five minute assembly, no tools required, 360 uh, degree rotating head and unique safety blade technology because I believe the front of the blade is rubberized in some sort of material so that way if you were to put your hand into it, a child puts their hand into it, an animal and so on, it doesn't break it nor does it shatter. Um, right here is their older product, the Infinite Air 5 volt, very small portable unit. This is quite a bit larger. All right. Um, some of the benefits behind this thing are going to be the ability to give you power when there is no sun. Uh, so that's one of the uh, the main things here. A few more pictures of the outside. Okay, that's the back of the box there. Again, a lot of information on there. And what's going to come included in the box is going to be the main wind turbine housing, the turbine base plate, butterfly nut, tail fin, and locking pin, four blades, and a blade cap. So there's one spare blade. That's pretty cool. Tripod webbing strap, six tripod poles, three plastic ground spikes, three tent pegs and a retaining cord, a turbine dongle, USB 3-in-1 cable with micro, Type-C, and lightning connectors, 18-volt DC charging cable for the Goal Zero Sherpa 100 AC, that's curious, and a travel case. All right, and then on the bottom of the box, um, portable 18-volt and 5-volt wind turbine, Harness the wind to generate power. All right, so I'm I'm excited. Uh, let's get into this. Okay, again, the packaging is is very nice. All right, and I open up the box to reveal the actual carry bag. So all this packaging is just a cardboard box, but that's all they need because they have the carry case right here with it. So let's set that to the side. 
All right, and let's get into this. All right, so first off, uh, this looks like it has some molly strapping on here so that you could put it on some sort of a pack. And two straps on the back. Let's see, nothing on the bottom. Carry handles on the top. Tex Energy branding. You got some paracord or whatever this material is for some zippers. All right, let's lay this thing down and get into it. All right, so got a bit of foam padding here. All right, what is it that I first notice? All right, one, there's a user's guide that's gonna be extremely beneficial in figuring out the little quirks from the beginning. Of course, you're gonna get used to it, but I'm sure one of the biggest things in here that's gonna be a benefit is gonna be assembly and disassembly instructions. All right, and there it is. Assembly instructions, let's see how many parts to it. It says there's 15 parts to putting this thing together. All right, and it labels how it's going to be assembled and it even gives you disassembly instructions. So how thoughtful. Probably it's gonna be better at retaining that longevity with this unit, making sure that, um, that you get to keep this thing in function for a long time. All right, let's see. Starting off, let's go with the big boy first. All right, so the actual turbine. All right, first thing I'm noticing is it rotates very freely. Um, it actually has some cautions on here. It says, avoid injury, keep people and animals clear of the blades when spinning. Refer to the user's guide for safe operation. All right, and this definitely looks like it's brand new. Uh, it says it's model TE-IA-12, waterproof protection, IP65. All right, you got the wing nut here at the bottom. That's gonna be the pin adapter cable set so that way you can connect your power cordage to it. All right, I'm gonna set this to the side. You got your blade retention right here. You got your big tail fin, and they definitely cleaned this up from some of the original images that we were looking like we were gonna get uh, initially. One of the things from the very first pictures to the final product was this was more of a sloping design, whereas this now looks just more purely functional. You're gonna slide that into here and then put that retaining pin into place. All right, but that gives you something of the size of the unit. Um, got some sort of a foam block here. Go ahead and put that to the side. We got the straps, three pegs, this is, of course, going to be to retain the tripod assembly at the bottom. The actual uh, poles for the tripod and some cordage. I believe they call that the guide wire. Some aluminum pegs. Okay, so these are actually the tent pegs. And these are gonna be the pegs to stab the tripod legs into the ground. All right, this unit, not really certain what it is. Oh, this is for the, the tripod actually. More tripod, and this should be the blades. four blades. Of course, you're only going to function with three, but having one as a spare is going to be a good thing. And looking at them initially, they seem to be pretty, pretty well finished. I'm going to take one out so you can see that. Not too many nicks and scuffs on there. I don't really want to bend this all that much, but um, I can see there's a small lip right there, but nothing, nothing too much. And these pegs right here are designed so you can only slip it into this in one direction. There's no mistakes. 
All right, so that's going to be what that would look like there. All right, so it claims a five minute assembly. So I will go ahead and do that in another video. But this is the unboxing of the Infinite Air 18. Oh, it looks like I forgot something. All right, and this is actually the powerhouse. Okay, so this is going to attach right here. And it has a screw-on connection. It looks like it's aluminum as well. And this right here is going to be the way that you would plug something into it. And it that has a small, doesn't seem to be rubber, um, whereas this right here that gets compressed against that, that's going to be the rubberized protection, I, I would suppose. But definitely looks like this is going to be something susceptible to water damage, so you'd have to be careful. And also the quality on this, um, I hope that it's just for being light. Um, it seems to be very inexpensively made. All right, so this this seems like it's the most vulnerable part of this entire assembly. Even even the blades seem like they're less vulnerable than this. Uh, but I will give a usage video at a later time. But it has a five volt out right there. Looks like it's a standard. And then this 18 volt pin adapter, which must mean that there's one additional item in here. Okay, there we go. Because this is not common. Okay, and it's proprietary. Not too appealing there, considering they, they designed this to function with the Sherpa 100 AC, but their cable is a small pin head here going into the eight millimeter, which the eight millimeter is then gonna be able to plug directly into a Sherpa 100 AC or a like product, which I have something else as well. All right. So there you have it. That's the eight millimeter that would plug into this component. Again, ooh, I'm feeling pretty vulnerable with this piece right here. Um, and then this is the five volt adapter. Uh, so where if you didn't have your own cable, you could use this. Looks like it's about six inches in length and it has multiple heads on there, but the primary head is a micro USB. Then there is a connector on here to turn it into type C or to lightning. All right, that's everything. Blades, poles, guide wires. And I do have to say, I really appreciate the case itself because the case itself is foam lined and everything has a place. So $380 US Tex Energy. This is the Infinite Air 18. wind turbine, portable wind turbine, allowing you to charge tablets, phones, cameras, uh, portable power packs, such as what they've guided you into the instructions on the Sherpa 100 AC, GoPros, smartphones, GPS units, medical equipment, laptops, um, gaming devices, headlamps, so you name it, this thing has portable, portable power capabilities on there. And I will go ahead and put it to the test and I'll give you a video of the assembly as well. All right, thanks guys.